That video goes for 16 minutes, but I can save you a whole bunch of time. I don't know how long this video will be, but I'm going to stop wasting your time and get right into it with the wet tyre. The wet tyre, it's got some grooves on the surface that clear the water, and that means it can drive, as the name suggests, in the wet very well. It's very nice to have tyres that can drive in the wet, and of course the compound is of course softer because the water takes away the temperature out of the tyres, uh, so that means that if you run it in the dry, it will be absolutely terrible. The intermediate is like a wet tyre, but not quite as wet, so you can run it in slightly less wet conditions. The intermediate is way more common than the wet tyre, because the minute it's wet enough for wet tyres, they red flag the race. Then, you've got the slicks. The slick tyres have five compounds, numbered from C1 to C5. C5 is the softest, and C1 is the hardest. Pirelli brings three tyre compounds to each event. They'll call them the soft, the medium, and the hard. For example, the C1 could be the soft, the 2 the medium, and the 3 the hard. That would be a hard arrangement of tyres, or you could have the 5, 4, and 3, or whatever other combinations. They also sometimes have a gap. They have 1, 3, and 4, or something like that. And the uh, softer tyre, well, it's softer, so it falls apart faster. But if something's soft, it's more grippy, it sticks to the surface more, and that means you go faster, in the corners that is. Uh, whereas the hard tyre, it's more durable, it run, you can run it at a higher temperature, so you can push it harder, um, but it's not quite as fast. And um, yeah, that's Formula One tyres. Oh yeah, they're made by Pirelli. Um, there's not really anything else to say. Uh, go and watch this video about Lewis Hamilton, I guess. It's good.